Hey guys, it's Ropsi back with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be showing you 12 things that make Zoom Notes the king of all note-taking applications, or the queen, if you prefer that. Scratch that. I will show you 12 things that make Zoom Notes the ultimate note-taking application. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. This is the sort of video I only do when I am super excited, which I am, because as you guys know, I have avoided this application for a very long time. Can't blame me though. If you've bothered to check out the application, you will know that this is the most complicated note-taking application ever created. And they have this 87 page manual to prove it. So I'm not making this up. The developers of this application have to be the most complicated thinkers on the planet. And they're probably the most meticulous too because they pay attention to everything. If you can think it, Zoom Notes has it. This is kind of my motto that I created for the application. So let's jump right into it. Number one, the first thing on our list, you can customize the interface of your application. This application has been impressing and intimidating me since the day I got it. Pretty much everything about the interface can be changed to suit exactly what you want it to look like. Let's check out the settings. You can have your toolbar at the bottom or at the top of the application. Your sidebars can be on either side, either on the right or on the left. And you can customize the size of your toolbar buttons. They look better smaller. If you make them bigger, it just starts looking like something created in 1985. And you can also change the colors of your icons. And to demonstrate, I will change back to the default, two default options that come with the application. Number two on our list, you can add videos to your notes. Simply long press and select image, go to your photos. I can even rotate this video and note taking application that supports video. Now that is life changing people. Number three, you can have layers in your notes, a personal favorite. This is a brilliant idea because I suck at drawing and so all my beautiful diagrams that you guys see in my notes, I've actually traced them, all of them, every single one of them. And for tracing, layers are very important for my non-existing artistic skills because I need to make sure that the diagram that I'm tracing from and the new diagram that I'm actually drawing are on separate layers and that later, after I finish my drawing, I can then delete the layer with my original original diagram that I'm tracing from. So I really appreciate it when applications have layers and this is definitely the only application that has this. All the list of things that I'm going through in this application are the things that make Zoom Note outstanding and their features that you can only find in Zoom Notes. Let me clarify that because Zoom Notes has everything Good Notes 5 has to offer. It has everything that Notability has to offer, everything that Note Shelf has to offer. Well, maybe not everything, but the stuff that is missing is negligible, to be honest. Number four, Zoom Notes allows you to create your pages from scratch. You've been struggling to have the perfect pages for your note-taking application. Zoom Notes got you covered. It supports any page size. Under custom, you can decide the width of your page and the height. And whether you want your page to be in portrait or in landscape, you can pick a color for your page and the color that surrounds your page, the color for your background canvas, and you can also pick the color for your lines on your page and your margin. 
Now, if that is not enough customization for a page, I don't know what is, because that's practically everything you need to create a page. The fact that you can add texture to your paper is the cherry on top. You can actually customize how the texture looks. What? Really? This is awesome. The application gives you blank, lined, squared, music, isometric, and graph papers, all of which you can customize to your specifications. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take this moment to clap hands for the Zoom Notes team. <laughs> Number five, still on pages, you can have an infinite canvas in Zoom Notes. So far, we've only talked about an infinite canvas in PDF readers. Zoom Notes is primarily a note-taking application. It does support PDF reading, and that's a topic for another day. But this is really impressive, the fact that you can actually create notes on an infinite canvas. Zoom Notes team, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Number six, Zoom Notes has the most pen tools I have ever seen in any note-taking applications. It has five different pens that you can choose from, which you can customize to suit your needs. And you can save your favorite pens for easier access once you've decided what you like. They also have two highlighters, which you can choose from, and you get to choose to have your highlight at the back of whatever it is you're highlighting. This is the only application I know so far that gives you that option. Most applications just decide for you, and so far, Notability is the only app that's got it wrong. The app also has a pencil tool, my favorite tool. So far, all the applications that have a pencil, it's perfect. I love it. Useless as it may be, it still has a place in my heart. Funny thing though, despite all these options, Ropsy can't find an inking tool that works for her in Zoom Notes. Shocking, isn't it? And we will get into that in another video. I'm not going to talk about it now. Anyway, but just bear that in mind, that despite having so many options, I can't find one that works for me. Number seven, you can remove features that you don't need from your toolbars. No application allows you to turn off and remove tools from your toolbar. All applications I've seen so far come with fixed tools. But these guys, no, 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 no. These guys want to make sure that you don't have useless icons all over your screen when you're writing and that you strictly stick to what you need. They are fantabulous. Number eight, the application has rulers, all kinds of them actually. And this just makes me miss geometry and tangents. These rulers are different from your shapes tool. If you draw a shape, the application will recognize it and they will automatically convert your circle that you've drawn into a perfect circle like any other note-taking application. But then they go the extra mile and they give you rulers. I mean, I love this protector. I absolutely love this application with all my heart. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Number nine, the application has a calendar and a map. I am flabbergasted. I'm starting to think Zoom Notes is the perfect application for journaling, actually. Brilliant ideas are starting to form in my head. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I can even create events in Zoom Notes that get added to my calendar without leaving the application. And I can set notifications for those events. Number 10. 10! The application can automatically create an outline for your pages and you can add page titles to all your pages. I am in love. I hereby dedicate my holiday to finding an inking tool that works for me in Zoom Notes. Come rain, come thunder, I shall find that pen tool and I shall not be stopped by anything or anybody. Though I have to be honest, I, I have been trying for two years now almost. I've had Zoom Notes as long as I've had Notability. But it's been hard to find an inking tool that works for me. Let me know what you guys think about the inking tools in Zoom Notes. Those of you guys that are using the application. 
Number 11. The application supports split view. Yeah, you're probably thinking, nah, this is not new. Notability does the same thing, but does Notability have vertical split view and horizontal? No, it doesn't. This application is well thought out and it's impressive. I don't even know what to say. Number 12, which is the last point, the first note-taking application to be thoughtful enough to give us the option to create tables. I'm thinking right now, is this the only application that allows us to create tables? But anyway, it's great that they allow you to create tables and that the tables are actually very easy to customize and you customize it exactly the way you want it. Bonus point, obviously. The developers of this application are constantly working on improving the application all the time. Zoom Notes is the most frequently updated application. And that just goes on to show you just how dedicated the Zoom Notes team is to developing this application. I am starting to feel bad for not introducing this application to you guys sooner, but I can assure you I had very good reasons. And you'll forgive me once you know those reasons. Trust me, you will. It's just human nature. <laughs> <laughs> so zoom notes is the most impressive note-taking application in app store at the moment no application can compete or even come close so really there's not even a point comparing this application to any note-taking application zoom notes is in its own league it's on its own level and nothing compares to it. I'm not even exaggerating. This is very interesting because then it poses a lot of questions like why isn't this a popular option for users, myself included, and that question, folks, I will be answering in the next video on this application. If you're interested in seeing exactly what applications I'm using in my everyday life on a daily basis, go and check out my Paperless Student Studies channel. Hopefully, that will give you a clearer picture of exactly what I'm doing in my life. So that will be all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't like my video, just move on and don't put a thumbs down, please. From one human being to another, do not put a thumbs down. <laughs> anyway let me know what you guys think about zoom notes in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video